Hi, Michael Lasko, CEO of Taxi, welcoming you to the August edition of Questions and Letters for the Taxi Transmitter. Let's get right to it. Uh, I found this one posted on the Taxi Forum. Um, it's from Michael11. Uh, he asks, when you've been working on a piece and you feel it's not going anywhere, do you pursue it doggedly and finish it regardless, or do you just think, bleep, and chuck it in the trash can? Uh, that's a great question. I think it's somewhat analogous to dating. Uh, let's say you go on a blind date and 15 minutes into the dinner you can tell that uh, you're not attracted to the other person or there's no personality match, there's no spark. Um, most likely you wouldn't go out on a second date. Well, it's kind of true for music. If you're working on a piece and you just don't feel that it's coming together, I don't know that I would invest a lot of time in beating a dead horse. Should you trash it? Probably not. Just stick it in a file, lay it to the side. You know, maybe there's a riff or some little melodic thing or a lyric in there that's worth salvaging or, or pulling that out and making a song of its own. But I think your time might be better spent investing it in stuff that you do feel good about, that's coming together and you know that there's some magic happening. So thanks for sending that question in or posting it on the forum. Um, hi, Michael. I was at the Road Rally about five years ago and loved it, but I was disappointed that there were so many great panels and classes that I couldn't go to everything I wanted to see. Have you done anything to solve that problem? Because I'm thinking about coming to this year's rally. Thank you. And that was sent in by Lloyd Vetris. Hi, Lloyd. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, actually, we did something starting, I think, last year or the year before at the Road Rally to make sure that you can see more of the great stuff that uh, you want to see. We started doubling up on the most popular breakout classes with some of the bigger stars, if you will. Uh, we're having them do two and sometimes three of the same class so that you can go see an A&R pitch panel and then maybe go see Jason Bloom or Rob Shirelli later on. So we've had really good feedback on that. Uh, it's also alleviated some of the overcrowding in the classrooms that we had a couple of years ago. So uh, I hope you come back and join us. The Road Rally is November 4th through the 7th this year. Um, it's going to be great. Uh, as many of you longtime members know, every year we make a, a little pledge to ourselves in-house to make the rally 15 or 20 percent better than the previous one. And we're feeling really good about this year's rally. So please join us November 4th through the 7th. You can sign up for the rally by going to taxi.com and clicking on the rally link and it will take you to a page that's got photos of last year's rally, uh, last year's schedule, which will soon be updated with this year's schedule. Um, and there you go. So thanks for sending that in, Lloyd. Uh, Dear Mr. Lasco, my submissions often get returned citing that my sampled instruments sound too dated. What exactly does that mean and how do I fix that problem? You know, we have that problem with a lot of members, um, have sample libraries that even though the composition or, or the track they send in, and I'm speaking mostly of, uh, of scored stuff or instrumental stuff, but it also applies to songs that you do. If you're using samples from a library that's maybe five years old or maybe using the, the stock sounds that come in your old DX7, they do sound dated because people in the industry uh, have gotten used to hearing some of the really great sample libraries that are out there now. Um, the best place to find some great recommendations would be on our forum at forums.taxi.com. That's forums with an S. There's a thread that I believe is called uh, equipment or gear recommendations and people talk about gear that they've recently purchased or purchased some time ago and they use it and they love it. But it's important to have really good drum sounds or really good string sounds or really good horn sounds. Uh, you want to sound really great. I uh, had a couple of taxi members in the office uh, a couple days ago, and they're quite accomplished, um, Tracy and Vance Marino. And they were telling me that they went to visit Matt Hurt, who is a longtime member of Taxi, who's been very, very successful doing film and TV stuff. And they were quite shocked when they got to his studio to see how little equipment he actually had. So they realized that they'd overspent on buying equipment and that the money was better invested in buying great libraries uh, of strings and horns and what have you. Uh, also a good thing to remember is you really need to understand how to use the library. 
um, let's say you're working with the viola, um, you're working with a viola sample, you wouldn't want to use a really high part that's out of the natural range of the viola, even though you can use your keyboard and tweak it up a couple octaves to get a high note, it's going to sound better coming out of a violin. So do your homework and find out uh, you know, what makes a French horn sound good, what, what uh, octave does it sound best in. Also listen to orchestral stuff and listen to where the instruments are placed in, in the panorama, if you will, that you know, the, the strings and the horns might be a little more up front, the timpani is in back, um, the woodwinds are off to the right but a little further back. When you start to understand how all those pieces fall into that oral spectrum, kind of a, a landscape, um, it makes you sound more, makes your music sound more legitimately like it was a real uh, orchestra doing those parts. So thank you for sending that in, Rob Neufeld. Um, Dear Taxi, my experience with Taxi has been more than frustrating. I've submitted nine times and have yet to get passed along to any of the listing companies. Seeing that I'm not getting any return on my investment, I seriously doubt that I'll renew my membership next year. What say you? And that was from Anthony Kane. We hear that a lot, Anthony. Uh, look, uh, taxi is not a quick fix. People want to believe that we provide some miracle cure and that their music is automatically great, and I understand that people wouldn't join Taxi if they didn't think their music was already great. But although your music may be well written, maybe the recording or the production uh, needs some work, or maybe your songs uh, need bridges and don't have them, or your hooks aren't strong enough, Taxi is really two things. It's a learning experience and it gives you access to the industry. We can't forward you to the industry, people, uh, until you're running on all eight cylinders. So don't think of Taxi as something where I'm going to join, I spent $300 to join, and in 90 days, if I haven't made $300 back, I'm out of there. It is a long-term investment. Many of our more seasoned members who are, again, on the forum at forums.taxi.com uh, will tell you that they've got a five-year plan and the five-year plan is that they know that the first year is going to be largely invested in getting their music kind of up to spec. The second year will be getting some deals with publisher, publishers um, or production music libraries and maybe a few placements. The third year, the stuff that they got with those publishers or production music libraries in year number two, those will start to come to fruition in the form of placements, but it's, it's a building thing. It's cumulative over time. So by staying in for five years, which you might see as a ploy for me to get you to fork over membership for five years, uh, but it's not, the five-year plan means that you're going to be doing it long enough and consistently enough and getting enough stuff signed to publishers that, and I'm talking specifically about film and TV now, um, that you do start to see that cumulative effect. And, you know, Matt Hurt makes a great living. He's been doing it now for 10, 11, 12 years. And uh, he would be the first to tell you that his entire income, which is pretty substantial at this point, is derived from film and TV placements. And the vast majority of his deals have come as a result of relationships that he built through Taxi over the years. So, yeah, you might think that I'm trying to talk you into signing up for another year just because I want your renewal fee, but that's really not the case. Uh, we want you to succeed. We want you to get to the point where you are getting good enough and kind of learning the ropes of the industry, and that's why we stress education so much. And frankly, it's why we do the road rally every year, why we make it free for our members and a guest, is we want you to get the education. The road rally will move you ahead in leaps and bounds. What might otherwise take you years to learn, you can learn in a single weekend at the Road Rally, not to mention you can make a lot of great connections for co-writers, you can meet people that are more experienced that will tell you things that will make you go, ah, why didn't I think of that? And frankly, you know, a lot of people meet publishers and label execs and what have you in the elevator, in the hallways, uh, especially in the bar at the Road Rally. So I, I hope that you do renew and I hope that you come to the Road Rally. And thank you for sending in your letter. And our last letter for this month is from Margie Balter. And Margie says, Hi Michael, just wanted to say thank you and to let you know that through a taxi listing for a pop song, I was able to sign three of my solo piano pieces from my award-winning CD, Music From My Heart, solo piano pieces by Margie Balter, to a great film and TV publisher. Last month they were able to secure a fantastic placement for, for me 
uh, track number three from the CD entitled Bluesy, but which was renamed Why Me, for the film, for the film, for the film usage, uh, was licensed to the movie Date Night, starring Tina Fey and Steve Carell. This is my first taxi placement, and I think it's a great one. Thank you so much, Margie B. Um, thank you for letting us know about that, Margie. Uh, we're always thrilled when one of our members gets something in a major motion picture, and uh, got to let you know that my wife and I go out on date night every week, and most of the time we go out to see movies, and we always stick around to watch the credits because nothing thrills me more than seeing... Uh, a taxi member show up in the credits uh, of a Hollywood blockbuster and I think that film did really well so we're all excited for you very proud of you keep up the great work and uh, thanks again for sending in the letter so there you have it kids this month's Q&L uh, please check in next month so that you can see what folks are asking or telling us about in September thanks for reading the transmitter hope to see you soon <laughs>